Off today, my name is Matthew Demapon, and for I work Animal for the Control Department of Agriculture. Animal Matthew Control. Matthew Demapon, this day begins with a call notifying him of a captured stray. He's one of six animal control officers with the Department of Agriculture, tasked with animal control, quarantine, and enforcement. The big perception of animal control, a lot of people, a lot of people think it, you know, we're just dog catchers, you know, and. Um, and if I'm quite honest, I, I thought so myself prior to coming uh, prior to me coming into the job. On our way to pick up the stray dog, he shows me his badge, telling me ACOs are also law enforcement officers. That law enforcement aspect of it is probably the most difficult part because it's very meticulous. These officers in green have the authority to issue citations to irresponsible pet owners. The highest charge a third degree felony for animal cruelty. And there's been some pretty um I would say so myself, the, the pretty big cases that we've done in the past, you know, in relation to hoarding, uh, animal abuse, animal neglect. His love for animals is what drives his passion for his career, a job that had bare bones staff when he first started last January. Now with six animal control officers on board, it's a team effort yielding better results. What used to be an average of 70 stray dogs captured in 2021, growing to 700 with this new team. Demapon showing us how it's done when they catch a stray and reset the traps. I'm gonna push the door forward, lift it up, and then there's a hook right here, which is gonna hold up the door. Then he uses cat food, which he says has a stronger scent as bait to catch the dogs. As we get ready to head out, we already spot one stray going for it. There's been times where it's taken about like a month and a half to trap one particular dog. Mm -hmm. It really depends on the animal itself. Some of them are really, they're really, they're pretty smart. A tough job capturing the 40 to 60,000 stray dogs still roaming the streets. Coupled with only four dog traps and two vehicles, both with broken ACs. But the work must go on. Next, we head up to Gain in a sweltering heat to transfer the stray, where it will be assessed to see if it's fit for adoption. But there, only three kennels are available, one of them reserved for the most serious stray dog case, a dog bite hold. It's sadly, that's just the reality of it. Uh, we gotta make, we gotta make do with what we got. It's clear, rain or shine, lack of funding or equipment, nothing stops these animal control officers from doing their job. The goal is to have three separate teams to cover each part of the island around the clock. But until that becomes a reality... We do have a new animal control team that's um, currently working on going through their training and all the certifications that need to be done. But we are working tirelessly to try to see if we can make any progress that we can possible, you know, in any way. Yeah. So just patience. Patience is all we ask. Mitsuki Horiyama, KUAM News.